Hey folks, Dave Parrish here at NAC Builders. Um, I do NAC, actual NAC builds for clients and a lot of training too. Uh, if you have anything in mind, just let me know. But today's uh, topic is a case study. Uh, I do lots of, again, builds and I like to share some of those on good use cases about a, how to utilize NAC. This particular one is for a, a government um, government funding of suicide prevention. Uh, this government has lots of different agencies that they fund uh, for the suicide prevention and they need to be able to track the activities of these agencies. They were using uh, spreadsheets, sending spreadsheets every month and, and I'll take you through this, that each agency had to enter information about their activities and then they come back and try to aggregate this. Obviously this is old spreadsheet technology then there's a better way in NAC which we accomplished and I'll be back in a moment to take you through that. Thanks folks. Okay folks I'm back uh, and gonna jump on this case study um, again it's a state government that provides funding to a few dozen agencies throughout the state that do various services uh, for suicide prevention. And they need to track those activities on a monthly basis. Now in the old spreadsheet world, this is what they've been doing, sending out the spreadsheet every month for everyone to fill out. It's actually a, sort of a clever spreadsheet using macros. These are different activities hotline, support services, training, all kinds of things that each of these agencies uh, potentially could be doing. So they're, what they do is select one of these, and I think this is a macro thing, hold on. They've got to enter strategic goals, what it's trying to accomplish, and then they enter various data. It could be dates, amount of people served, and they go to each one of these things. Um, they're filling it out. Some are in common. Most of these have these goals things, and then there's various variable information collecting, demographics, all kinds of things. And then when they submit it, um, each of these other tabs, this is designed where uh, the data from hotline would go in a hotline tab, and and then these are all blank right now, but when they're filled out, this would be the month in all the different places and they're reporting on it. And then they can, they'll start analyzing, aggregating it and making reports on what their funding is accomplishing. Um, not a good user experience, obviously dealing with the spreadsheets. Uh, you have tons of spreadsheets and wherever you're storing them, aggregating data is difficult. All the stuff that goes along with spreadsheets. So they found me and asked, hey, can we do this in NAC in a more efficient manner? So I'm going to show you what we did. Get out of this. Um, Structure is fairly simple, although it uses some nice functionality uh, that NAC has. So let's just do one right here. I'll show you how it works. I'm logged as an organization. I'm calling it a test organization. I'm one of the people, organizations, agencies, um, getting money from the state. And so what we're doing is called an added SDR. SDR is Service Delivery Report. Uh, and they have to do this on a monthly basis. And it's sort of like, I'm going to call it uh, like an invoice structure. You have an invoice. It's a date, who did it, who's the customer, is this. And then to that invoice, you're going to add line items of um, the activities. That's how this is going to work. Um, well, the invoice should be adding items you bought. In this case, we're going to be adding activities they did. So let's create a new SDR. First thing, all they have to do is what reporting period is this for? And by the way, admin has control of how these are displayed. They can pick if it's active. So like past stuff isn't showing up. But let's just pick one. Um, let's just do this month. Well, they'd be doing it. They were entering it now, which is mid-July, late July, they'd be doing June's. Submit it. 
um, it now takes them to the page to fill out. But let's back up one. If I'm the provider, I have made this SDR. It's for this period. It has a reference number. It's counting the number of services they've provided. In this case, we haven't filled it out yet, so it's zero. Its status is created. They haven't finished it yet. And once they do, submit it as complete. Um, it'll have a, a date and who actually submitted that, the user, logged in user. So they go to it, and it has all these different items. These are those things from the spreadsheet. And these are... I'll get to how this is structured, but it's actually all in one object. But only the particular questions for this will be answered for the record that's created. Um, so let me do one. Let me do a simple one. Uh, hotline. Oh, they're not using hotline right now. Uh, let's just do products. They're going to select the goal. Let's do a secondary goal. The created a video on that and there's various information not all of it's required I'm just going to save this so they have this line item this SDR which represents this month and they have a line item they can add as many as they want and this will be okay here's our month's activity now let me go to the back end and show you a little bit about how all this is in one record now, they're going to be doing lots of these, and they're going to be titled. This is a products thing. And they could have another one. It's a budget. A screening. And we want them all in one table. We don't want to have a bunch of different objects representing all of these. Um, so they're all together. And again, it sort of looks like an invoice. Um, let's go to that back end. And let's go to the provider. They log in. Here's their list of SDRs. Here's... The detail of this report this month here's all the different activities they can report on and here's all these line items which all could be different questions but it's one object and we call it SDR line items and here's how you accomplish that if they want to view all the details of it this is what's happening what when they go to the detail page it actually has every potential type of thing they could have reported on they're all here but that's not what shows and this is where page rules are really powerful what we're doing here is saying if the type is let's say community awareness we're going to hide all these other ones and only show community awareness that makes that a real, I'm going to call it finessed view. Uh, it's all together, but everything that isn't relevant is hidden, and it all is able to present in one nice package here. Let's go to the records. Well, I'm going to go to SDR item. This is a long, this is every type that they can report on and every possible question, all in one. But when the record is created, it's going to have boilerplate stuff, who the organization is, uh, item numbers, the uh, type. But the only thing that's going to be populated, try to grab this down here, be a lot of blanks until you get to um, the relevant questions for that type. Now remember that. this is I use this a lot, and it makes apps really nice. Now, a little more on this. In terms of the workflow, they're going to be working on this, adding stuff. Potentially different people are going to be adding stuff. But then someone is responsible for saying, hey, we're done with this month. So they would submit it as final. This is a live app, so I'm not going to do this. But when they submit it as final, they add a little bit more information here. They click final. The status will be updated to submitted, not created. And then there's another page rule. If it's not created, or if it's submitted, it will hide all this, and it'll also get rid of the ability to edit. Because once they've submitted it, you don't want them going back and changing the data. Um, and also, a couple other control aspects here. 
They can delete an SDR. There's the ability to do that. But I put a control on here that if the count of items is higher than zero, hide delete. This is a control I use on all kinds of tables like this. You don't want them accidentally deleting a item that, or a SDR, a report that they created. Um, and a good way to do that is if there's a, items on it, they probably don't want to delete that. So it disallows them from doing it. Uh, they'd have to go back in if they duplicate it or whatever. Uh, they can delete this. The one item they've added to this, or if there's several of them, let's delete that. Let's go back. Now item count is zero, delete shows up. That's a nice control to have. Um, so that's how that works. And then I'm going to just toggle over to the ad admin side. I've created myself as two users here just because it's easier when you're building. And now... The, this would be the admin, the government, looking at it. And they can control, add new organizations. They can control the periods that are reporting on. Uh, if it's not active, it won't appear. Um, and then they have a list of all the SDRs. Uh, and they can drive down. This is an SDR. Same thing. They're going to be grouped by the type. And this view, the details of this, uh, has that same functionality where it will only show the one that is the type it is, and it will hide all the others. Although on this page, on the back end, all the types are done. Um, we just started deploying this, I don't know, a week or so ago. So we don't have a lot of data in here. But when uh once we do there'll be reports that are measuring things here's how many things people were reached for this type of activity during june and this and they can aggregate that on a quarterly or annual basis all kinds of information uh giving stats using charts graphs pivot tables and really have insight on what's going on um as opposed to again a spreadsheet if you can imagine if this was full of data and you have all kinds of tabs, how you're going to be trying to aggregate that. Nice app. Went together well. Good client. And uh, I appreciate you. Uh, hold on. Appreciate you uh, taking time to watch us. Uh, if you like it, please uh, uh, give me a, a like, start, get notified. Okay, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.